Hi everyone and welcome to the Sandbrook Adventures where today we're here at the Trafford Centre in Manchester to come and visit Jurassic World the exhibition. I am so excited for this. I love Jurassic World and from photos and videos we've seen this looks excellent. Now for this experience we did book our tickets online and it was £19 but if you do come on a weekend they are a bit more expensive so bear that in mind. They do say that you can also pay on the door if there's availability but with any experience like this I definitely recommend booking online. Uh, this opened a few weeks weeks ago it's running through until November here in Manchester and this looks absolutely fantastic we're huge Jurassic Park Jurassic World fans and uh, looking at this you've got animatronics interactive some big theming and set pieces it looks absolutely brilliant and it's all inside this temporary building just behind us so uh, come and join us here on the channel as we go and experience what this exhibition is really like and you can just see the Trafford Centre which is the huge shopping centre just at the end of the pathway here. It takes about five minutes to walk from John Lewis and you've actually got loads of free parking here at Trafford. All the time it's free parking here and of course you've got like the food court and lots of other attractions nearby. Now I booked a slot for this evening uh, because I thought it'd be a lot quieter than doing it earlier in the day. When we pulled up onto the car park a few hours ago um, it looked really busy. I just thought it'd be better for filming and taking photos and maybe a bit more of a personal experience going for this a little bit later in the day. So our slot is at seven o'clock. So yeah let's go and make our way into the entrance. I am so excited for this. It looks amazing. And we just had our ticket scanned and we're inside and it's very quiet which is good. Should be great for the photo opportunities. I like all the posters up there. All the different areas that we're going to be making our way through. Little photo opportunity before we go in. Oh wow look at the theming straight away. Hey, the gyrosphere just there. Fantastic. T-Rex just there, the Mosasaurus. Love the posters in here. Yeah, right. <laughs> we know what we're doing. Amazing, thank you. Especially set in the scene. Oh wow, look at this. Right. Wow. This is really cool. I feel like I'm back in a universal park. Wow, this is amazing. Look at the detail, you wouldn't think we're in a temporary building. So welcome, my name's Ewan, I'm your warden for the day, just um, on the ferry. I'll probably take you back, hopefully you'll be in well. <laughs> uh, so, just a couple of things to make sure you're enjoying your experience, okay? Number one, take your time, really, okay? There's so many things to do on the island, so many areas with so many complex tasks and, you know, things to do. You can chat to all of us, you can learn all about different dinosaurs, you can see the dinosaurs, there's so many things to do, so make sure when you get to a set of double doors, you've done everything in that previous section because the next section you won't be able to go back. Ah, okay. Okay. Once you go through those doors. Secondly, when you get through those doors, just as you've brilliantly done there, wait for someone to open them, okay? Don't open them yourself. Uh, if you open them yourself, you might be, you know, there might be a sea monster or a big raptor or something <laughs> on the other side and they're scratching and they're biting and you don't want anything to do with that, okay? Just make sure you wait for one of us. Um, you don't want the, paper, uh, the pain for that. Time for our ferry to depart. The ferry is now departing. Please direct your attention to the front of the boat for an important informational video. The history of our planet is written in stone, written for all time in the earth below our feet. It tells the tale of an ancient era when dinosaurs ruled the world. Many have dreamed of visiting that world, witnessing the majesty and the power of the largest, most awe-inspiring creatures to have ever lived. That dream is now a reality, here at Jurassic World. The park is a technological marvel and a modern phenomenon Sparing no expense, the Masrani Global Corporation has created a world-class destination resort like no other, where humans coexist with dinosaurs in complete safety. We welcome you as our guests to step into a new reality over 65 million years in the making. This is Jurassic World. Hello everyone, I'm Allison. Jurassic World's lead ranger, and I have the privilege of overseeing all of our park's dinosaurs. 
from babies to fully grown dinosaurs, I know them all. And it's my pleasure to be in charge of your VIP tour of the island today. Not only will you get to see some of our most impressive dinosaurs in the land of giants, but as our VIP guests, you've been given exclusive access to go off the beaten path and behind the scenes, visiting parts of the park not open to the general public. You'll take a peek inside our world-famous Creation Lab and our groundbreaking raptor training facilities, where our scientists and behaviorists are deciphering dinosaur behavior and creating an all-new way to communicate with this incredible species. It's going to be an exciting day. One I'm sure you'll never forget. Welcome to Jurassic World. That was a great way to start the experience there on the boat just here. I love Jurassic World, isn't it brilliant? It's the score that makes it as well, isn't it? And the doors have just opened. Wow, oh, how immersive is this? Oh. oh, this is awesome. It's the music as well, isn't it? Wow. And if you want any photos under this, by all means ask. Wow, how amazing is this? Oh, the lighting is awesome. The fact you've got all the sound effects as well, the big dino that we can see just through there, all the little flames. Oh, it's amazing. You wouldn't think we're in a tent on a car park in Manchester. I love how you actually got the boat over to the island as well. How amazing is this? Hello, you're out there. <laughs> wow. The animatronics are fantastic, really good movement. Wow. <laughs> oh, the scale is amazing. I like how you got these as well big binoculars and you can look and see different parts of the island. I did just try putting the camera up against there but you can't see anything. Wow. It's all the sound effects as well. It's just like the things living like in the, in the trees. What can you see Charlotte? I'm collecting the dinosaurs so you go around and then you collect them you can see them through the trees. Oh he's a noisy boy this one. It's the fact they've done all the planting around, all the rocks, like this is amazing. This is some of the best theming, if not the best theming in the UK. And it's a temporary attraction. Incredible. Pangia. All the information boards, like just every little detail has been thought about in here. Like it's amazing. The good thing is you can take as long as you want to walking around, like there's no rush to experience it all. Here at the very edge of the park. This area is often a gathering point for many of our dinosaurs, such as Rocky. This makes me so excited for if Universal go ahead with the theme park in the UK. Long. This gives us a little tease of, of what we're going to have. Like amazing, world. absolutely amazing. Look at this. Okay. <laughs> Look at him just coming out of the trees. Oh! <laughs> I tell you what, the quality of the animatronics is amazing. Oh, he's off. What are you looking at? <laughs> Oh, he's looking at that butterfly there, I think. Oh, that's cool. They've actually programmed it in. So it's like, he's trying to eat that little butterfly. It's like all the roots and everything. I love how they've got the little information areas around. Hey, the classic Jurassic Park Jeep there. Got the little number plate on the front. <laughs> that's cool. I love the Jeep. Wow, look at this. As someone that loves audio animatronics, this is amazing, because the great thing is, you see animatronics on rides. It's like we did uh, Jurassic World Adventure at Universal Studios Beijing in China earlier this year, and it was an amazing dark ride, but obviously with this, you can just stand like looking at the animatronics for as long as you want, and you get really close to them as well. This is incredible. These are some of the best animatronics I've ever seen. You would not think that this is a pop-up attraction. Wow. That is fantastic. 
I've never seen anything like it. For the scale of him as well. To put it into perspective with Charlotte just there. This is amazing. Wow. It's like the best 19 pounds I've ever spent. Look at all the details. We're going into the Hammond Creation Lab shortly. It makes me sad that our UK theme parks aren't themed like this. Like, this is excellent. Hey, time to meet a baby dinosaur. Hello. I like to call them. Very, very friendly. Don't go too close. Okay. No. She only eats fish, but if you get your fingers too close, she thinks they're, thinks they're like anchovies or something. Yeah, something like that. She's <laughs> very beautiful. Oh. So she grew up to 10 feet. Oh, okay. wow. And her wingspan grew up to 24 feet. Oh, that's amazing. Not Mr. DNA there as well. <laughs> Time for the experience to continue as we make our way into the Hammond Creation Lab. So one thing they did say is make sure you see everything that you want to in each of the different rooms before you move on to the next. Well, that is amazing. Absolutely incredible. Here we go. Whoa. You can meet another baby one. Hey. This reminds me a little bit of the uh, Discovery Center in Islands of Adventure. Under the little heat lamps just here. Uh, This is so well done, I can't believe it. Oh, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Look at all of these. The most famous of all the dinosaurs, among the largest kind of car carnivorous animals. Can't get my words out, carnivorous animals <laughs> to ever walk the planet. I think I'm just that blown away. It's just everything from the sights, the sounds, and even the smells that's really brought Jurassic World to life in here. I can't believe just how good this is. Oh, put my hand in here now. Oh. Oh, what is that? Oh. <laughs> Little interactive. Oh, it feels really weird. Oh. <laughs> the gloves feel weirder than anything. Ooh. Oh, here we go, Charlie. Hey, there we go. Oh. Oh. Did we arrange her in no time? What a key say. <laughs> Hello. Put your hand there, you go. Put your hand up for us. Oh. oh. Perfect. <laughs> so cute. Yeah, we go. So we got the little incubator to stay all the eggs. It tells you all the information about the different dinosaur eggs. It's really cool. Hey, InGen just there. It's sort of like the little details, that's just everything. Like, look at this in here. We're literally on a car park in Manchester. Like, this is amazing. Come on, theme parks in the UK. Like, this is what we want. Like, I can't believe it. All the DNA just there. It's the level of detail. And then we've got the one and only Velociraptor. I wonder if we're going to see blue in here at any point. I like how it tells you how to pronounce them there as well. Velociraptor. I need that with my pronunciation. Swift plunder is the meaning. Is the baby one in here? It looks like we've got a bit of an interactive exhibit going on in here. Quite a queue off to the right. That's a T-Rex skull just there. Oh, this is a bit of like a, a dig site just here. So you can use the brushes to try and find like the dinosaur bones just in there. There we go. Oh, it's a footprint. That means there must be dinosaurs nearby. Can we find anything? Oh. What we got there? Oh, it's massive. There we go. Anything else that we can find? As we start, that's really satisfying. Oh, there we go. It's like I'm on time team or something. 
<laughs> so look at all the rocks and everything out the side. This is one of the best things I've ever seen in the UK, like themed attractions wise. Sauropod femur, impressive fossil, 70 million years old. On display here at Jurassic World. Meet baby Bumpy. Just a uh, hello. Oh. Oh. Hello. So if you're going to scope it, use the back of your hand. Oh, what a cute! <laughs> Very cute. Oh, thank you. Oh. Blown away. I think that's just waiting to go into the next part. Is it? Well, we've been in three big rooms so far. I just can't believe it. Like, this is amazing, isn't it? This is excellent. The theming in here is phenomenal. You would not think you was on a tent in a car park. Like, it's just phenomenal. It really is. And it's right here in the UK. Like, if you love themed, immersive experiences, even if Jurassic World isn't your thing, just come and see this. You appreciate, like, really immersive environments and experiences. Get yourself here because this feels like we're in Florida or something with this attraction. Uh, it is so well done. It really is. I can hear something loud in this next room. I, I, I can hear something. Predatory livestock, trained handlers only. Are you a trained handler, Charlotte? I think so, I'll try my best. <laughs> I'm not trained, but... Oh, wow. Look at this. Big cage. This reminds me quite a bit of the Raptor Encounter if you've ever done that before in a Universal theme park. We're going to have lots of fun in here today. Now, Velociraptors can be very, very dangerous. They're carnivores and they're hunters. This fence keeps all of you safe. So make sure we're not putting any hands, arms, legs or heads through the bars here today, as Blue will eat them. Now, parents, please do not put your kids through the bars either. I know it's tempting. <laughs> Now, up top, you'll see where all the electric wires are. Once those lights are on, that means the wires are live. Please do not touch the fence when they are on. Now, last thing before we can, just double check the raptors are okay and that we can get them out for you. It's just to make sure that if you take any photos or videos that you do have your flashes turned on. Final checks of the arena to make sure that it's all safe uh, to get them out. As we are going to say hello to <laughs> the Blue trainer. Today, who is our largest and smartest Velociraptor. We've got four that we have here. Blue, Charlie, Delta and Decker. So once this arena has been deemed okay, we will get you guys up. We do not want to let any Velociraptors out when it's a fault or an issue, as that could lead to Velociraptor and a not very fun day for me. Here are scientists, rangers and handlers work with Velociraptors gaining an insight into how they think, move, and hunt. Let's learn more about these amazing creatures. Velociraptors, or raptors as they are more commonly known, are part of the Dromaeosauridae family, who first appeared in the Jurassic period and for more than 100 million years lived on Earth. Today, you will get a rare behind the scenes encounter with one of Jurassic World's most incredible Raptors. Tell you what, he's got a fantastic Blue. announcer voice. Oh, what a <laughs> Although you're safe behind the enclosure, it was pre -recorded. please keep your distance. Despite all of our work here, raptors remain carnivorous yeah. with killer instincts. This is Raptor Blue. And now, I'd like for you to meet Blue. Steady. Steady. All right, Blue. 
You move it to your right. My left. We're good. Now, let's move it to your left. My right. Good, Blue. Good. Shall we do this again, Blue? Easy. Blue, stand down. Stay right there. behaviorists train a raptor. Thank you for coming and please enjoy the rest of your time at Jurassic World. Thank you very much. Let's give them a thanks for big round of applause. Very well done to our trainers in there and a very well done to Blue as well. On to the next part of the experience. They're doing some amazing work in this one, tell you. <laughs> wow, into another big room now. Wow. Oh, there's the gyrosphere. Wow, beautiful. The movement of these animatronics is amazing. Look at him just here. <laughs> just so massive as well. Like, I just can't believe how fantastic this is. Like, just the movement. I could watch animatronics all day. Hey, whether the dinosaurs, people, whatever the animatronics are, I just find them so fascinating. The movement of these, really expensive animatronics. Wonderful to have some of these here in the UK. Yeah. And there he is, from on the side. That's massive. That's like a 10 foot tall, 20 foot long animatronic. Maybe bigger than that. All right, we're just gonna have a photo now. In the gyrosphere over here, I'd love a ride made out of this in the future. I think it'd be amazing. The gyrosphere ride and a monorail. That's the next things we need in the Jurassic World area. I guess it would be uh, quite low capacity though, wouldn't it? Oh, fantastic photo opportunity there with the gyrosphere and the fact you can get up into it as well, which is fantastic. i tell you what though, can you imagine that as a ride at a Universal Park? It would be amazing. I mean, it'd be quite low capacity. We're saying that Forbidden Journey's only got four seats. Uh, if they had like 50 of these going around, or maybe it's a flat ride or even better, like a full-on dark ride, it'd be epic. But yeah, what a great photo op. You got the information just here. On the side too, the vehicle will automatically roll backwards toward a safe distance if it's too close to an animal. Oh, be an amazing attraction, maybe one day. And yeah, an announcement just played. I think we've got one more room left to see. We'll just wait by this dino's tail over here. <laughs> Look at the movement on that, amazing. Oh, I'm just waiting for these double doors to open. I think when we get through there, we're going to be meeting a T Rex. We just the alarm. Um, we're just to be on the same side. Can you just for me, it's the fact they've done all the rocks and landscaping around at the side that makes it. Everything looks pretty normal. Well, it comes right along, right along, nothing to worry about. But I'm not worried, you should be worried. <laughs> okay, come along, squeeze right up, nothing to worry about. So, um, we've had an alarm, well, when I say alarm, a cup has gone out. Uh, I suspect it's a false alarm, but, you know, what they say about, you know, asset containment issues. Um, we hope nothing bad has happened, you know, we are very 
very careful here at Jurassic World. Nothing bad has ever happened at one of our parks, not ever. Okay, and you know, I'm very good at what I do, so you don't need to worry about um, what I do is lie on my CV. But I did do an online training course, um, and I barely skipped any of it. So nothing to panic about, nothing to worry about. Okay, okay, you don't need to worry. You don't need to worry. Stop crying now. Okay, as long as the alarms don't go off, we should be nice and safe. Please make your way to the final panic of your journey. That's the alarm. Okay, but the good news is, our scanners say there's no dinosaurs in this facility. So I'm not worried, you're not worried, no one's worried. Okay. Where's the toilet? Oh! 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 Surrounded. cannot describe how amazing that was there at the end. There was so much going on, the animatronics on either side. Like, that was terrifying, wasn't it? I love James. Get on the floor, get on the floor. We're all just sat on the floor, like trying to get away from this T-Rex. That was excellent. One of the best themed experiences I've ever seen here in the UK. Like that was just incredible. Like absolutely amazing. <laughs> so that. good. Like, I love that from start to finish. Excellent. We'll talk more about it in detail when we get outside. But so first, we have got the gift shop to look in just here with the uh, merchandise for the attraction. So we'll have a little look. Right then, here's a look at the merch. We've really got this nice. nice book. Yeah, so it sort of goes through what you've seen and the dinosaurs that you've seen. This is great. Probably got a lot of the information as well yeah. that were on the boards, like when screens as we were going through the attraction. It's nice, your Jurassic World merch. I like the front of it as well. Oh, that was just brilliant. Really, really good. That's quite nice as well. Jurassic World, the exhibition with Manchester on. I like how it's got. Manchester. I believe this is touring in quite a few places around the world at the moment. I think it's in Australia, it's in Germany, like you know, and it's right here in Manchester. There's blue in the middle. <laughs> Let's have a look at some of the other merch. What they got? Lots of kind of generic Jurassic World and Jurassic Park merch. Magnet, yes. And the exhibition on just there. All your plushies. Oh, here we go. Here's some of the t-shirts and stuff. 
£22 for a kids t-shirt just there. And then we've got the adult ones. They're priced at 28 Oh, that's not too bad for a nice piece like that to remember such an attraction. Tote bags, they're £10. And some little cute plushies of dinosaurs. Charlotte's made a new friend He's just here. Nice, isn't he? Get a t shirt with all the babies on. <laughs> Merch for the kids. Jurassic Park, oh, amazing. What's your favourite film from Jurassic Park and Jurassic World? Comment down below. I would love to know. I think for me it's got to be Fallen Kingdom actually. Really enjoyed that. That's my favourite. It was on last night actually. Yeah, it was in the hotel. Another tote bag just here. That's a good bag for going to Aldi with, isn't it? And going to your shopping. Cereal, that's priced at five pounds. Bag for life. That's not bad. Though. Yeah, that's good. Oh, that's brilliant. It feels weird here in this music in the UK. Normally walking around a Universal Park. I like that. Run. <laughs> Forty pounds. Whoa! And you got a poster just here. But it's 3D. That's Not just cool, any that. poster, a 3D poster. Look at that. <laughs> nice. I just like how it's got Manchester on as well, yeah, you know. Sometimes these like walkthrough attractions, they cheap out a bit on the merch and don't like put where it is, but I really like it because it just makes it a bit more personal to where you actually visited it, you know. Yeah, the shop's good. Oh, and they've got the posters here too. I love these. Yeah, these are actually the posters that you can see in the queue at Universal, Islands of Adventure. Oh, look at that goat. <laughs> we know what's happening to him. Yeah, we do. Love the posters. Yeah, Mosasaurus, obviously you see that when you go on the ride in it's Hollywood. £35 as well. Yeah, for the price. Yeah, and you can frame them. And, oh, they're, they're lovely, they are. I like the, the gyrosphere one. Ride the gyrosphere. Get some postcards of them as well. They're only £5 and you get the full set. Oh, you get a set of four just there. Really good. What an amazing attraction. Absolutely amazing that was. What an experience. Back outside then now after experiencing Jurassic World, the exhibition produced by Neon. And then copyright down there, Universal Studios. Hopefully we're going to see a lot more of that here in the UK in the next few years. If you don't know what I'm going on about, basically Universal have purchased land in Bedford in the south of the UK to build, hopefully, a new Universal resort. And I'll tell you what, the parks in this country are better watch out if it's gonna be as good as that. Brave, brave, brave. So Orlando, Orlando's Universal is amazing. All the other Universal's are amazing. So to have one in the UK, like we said, UK parks need to up their game. Definitely, like, this is gonna be a game changer. That was incredible. One of the best, if not the best, themed experiences I've ever seen here in the UK. Like to walk through that and see the animatronics, meet the baby dinosaurs, the music, the lighting, the smells, the overall package. I thought everything about that was absolutely amazing. I cannot believe how good that was. <laughs> the staff in there was amazing as well. Like offering to take photos all the time. They were brilliant. But wow, I'm blown away by that. The animatronics in there was amazing. Let's just think that that is literally on a car park. <laughs> you can see the parking spaces underneath this building. Like it's a temporary building. We come here to Trafford Centre all the time. Like this has just popped up kind of out of nowhere. And here it is. Like we didn't even really know that this was coming either, to be honest. No, like, we didn't. I'm so, so, so glad that we came to do it because it was excellent. It was. I would definitely recommend coming down here to see it. I know you've seen the video, uh, but there's still nothing quite like it's walking not. through an attraction like this and just seeing it um, in person. We always do our best to capture things the best we can do in vlogs, but there's certain things that should be experienced in person, and this is one of them. Uh, a fully themed experience. And what I love with this is the fact that whether you looked up at the ceiling, the floor, um, all the way around, there was details. I was expecting it to be like, you know, a few rooms that you go into and you have a lot of the focus on the animatronic, um, and then like no, m nothing much else around it. There was rocks, there was the sound effects, there was all the palm trees and plants and it actually felt like we were there in Jurassic World, didn't it? They've done such a good job of like 360 theming so you can look around everywhere and there's something to be there with theme. They have done an amazing job with that. Definitely come down to check this out, it was excellent. And it started off with the nice boat trip which was going over to the island. We didn't get on the boat back, uh, we, we, just, we, we swam over I think. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, we did have the spectacular ended. Uh, but yeah, it was nice with the boat at the start. What I liked as well is there was no rush to go through and obviously they did hold us 
rooms at some doors. If you didn't want to leave that room at that point, like us near the end there, um, we stayed in that room and waited like the extra cycle because we hadn't finished looking round. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty good how you can wait. That's where the gyrosphere was. And that was the same in all the rooms. If you weren't ready to move on at the time when they opened the doors, you can wait for the next cycle. And it's about a five minute gap. So there's no pressure and um, thinking, oh right, I haven't got my photos and videos I want. You can uh, wait in that room. It was brilliant. It's the best 19 pounds I've ever spent on British soil Definitely. that. It was excellent. amazing. I loved that so much. It, it was great. Get yourself here to Manchester. I don't know if it's going to other places in the UK or not after this, but like I said, I was looking online. It's here until at least, I think, November. But it wouldn't surprise me if that gets an extended run or maybe goes down to London or somewhere else because, yeah, that was incredible. 100% recommend it and come and check it out. Uh, but as always, thanks so much for joining us here on the channel. We've filmed lots of videos over summer so far and we've still got more coming up uh, to keep you entertained here on the Sandbrook Adventures. Uh, thank you very much for watching and have, have your, your own adventures. adventures. Goodbye, everyone.